Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, all right. It is still January and it's snowing. I'm kind of happy I turned off snow on this series. Uh, I think we would have full ground coverage right now if I didn't. That's all right. Um, I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, I find that the uh, work that's done on fields uh, that, don't, that, that are not defined, uh, that all has to be done manually and, and it's kind of really slow. So uh, I did the windrowing, I did finish the mowing, did windrowing, and uh, now I am bailing up some silage bales and uh, that's going to generate some money for us. As soon as I'm done with that, we'll do our regular routine of popping up those thirsty, thirsty greenhouses and then we'll move on to do other things. Um, we'll probably, we'll probably rest, I think. Uh, I do want, need that next big kind of ash infusion uh, to get another piece of property. Um, that's gonna be huge. Can I pick this up? No. Okay, I gotta go back. I did a bunch of this already, uh, but there's still a fair amount to do, so we'll do that together. Nice thing about this baler, on top of the fact that it's fast and there's no no downtime, no no unload time, um, it actually also has a very wide uh, swath pickup, so there's room. There's a lot more room uh, for error than there usually is with a with a baler. I felt like the last episode, uh, when I went to do the edit on it, I did end up having to edit quite a bit. Uh, mainly because I found it was just a series of running back and forth to the store. That's starting to get a little, little old. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll have to figure out ways to deal with that. I will probably figure out a way to edit out a lot of the, the runs back and forth to the store. And then new fields, uh, also, I will do some editing there, too. Uh, so you don't just sit there watching me, you know, mow this large field manually. There's only so much I can blabber. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways. Anywho. Okay, so I'm going to do a little, uh, I, I want to call it a shout-out here. Um... I'm, I, I, there are certain YouTubers that I follow, um, some that I follow uh, absolutely regularly, and some that um, you know when I can when I when I have time I guess there's only so much you can watch right. Uh, when I have time I try to get to them, uh, but I did notice that one of the, my very first inspirations uh, with farm sim content. Uh, a guy that works incredibly hard uh, for his channel, uh, Mr. CLP. Um, I assume most of you know who he is. Uh, I assume many of you probably subscribe uh, to his channel. When I logged in this morning uh, to have a look at what was up, uh, I noticed that he is at 99,000.6. Um, uh, thousand subscribers and he's almost at that magical 100 I think he gets a plaque and stuff like that so uh, the shout out is if you are not subscribed to him please 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 head over there uh, the guy works incredibly hard at his channel um, and uh, very well deserving um, anyways go check him out um, and, and if you can subscribe subscribe to him uh, I know that if I was at 99.6 um, as, as a creator and 99,600 that I would be just sitting there staring at the screen waiting for that final sub refresh 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 <laughs> it's a huge huge milestone uh, so anyways that's that's my thing um, 
another, you know, I mean, purely from a, if I was running this as a business, it would probably be not a good idea to send you to the competition or whatever, but I'm not running this as a business. I have a full-time job, so I'm doing this purely for fun at this point. Um, maybe one day, maybe one day it'll be a business, but right now I, I, I can't do that. Um, that said, there's a, there's a guy that I've been following since I started this channel. Um, he was actually one of the first subscribers to my channel. Uh, first 10, 10 subscribers, I think. Um, and he was very supportive and uh, he was very small at the time as well. And he's growing as well. Um, I think, you know, if you have some time, go check out his channel. And that's uh, NJN Farms. Um, he runs a really cool channel, super chill, uh, super relaxed, knows his stuff, and um, uh, has a, a level of realism in his play that uh, I, I struggle getting to. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Um, I know there's so much to watch out there, and there's so much really good content. So, but, I, you know, I don't want to be... I don't want to be uh, sheltering <laughs> my channel by not not calling out these people that that uh, do an excellent job. So there you go. Now, there's others too, but I don't want to sit here and list them all day. Uh, but if you have a priority, Mr. Sealy P, uh, get on that, hit that subscribe button. Let's get them over a hundred thousand. Um, you know, it could be that every single one of you is already a follower. So I get it. Okay, what am I doing here? Um, I guess I have been blabbing pretty good, huh? Oh, I guess I forgot the window of this section. Here, I'll show you how, how good of a sloth pickup this is. Look how wide I can pick up with this, even picking up on the other side. Makes it barely worth swathing, uh, creating swaths. You know, this is a little bit of an unrealistic bailer, to be honest. Um, maybe. I don't know, actually. Maybe it's not. Alright, we're almost done here. that's in the baler because um, we are going to have a lot more grass to mow uh, as time so as time goes. I think that's our bale. Bale shed. It is now uh, almost 1, 1 p.m. And this uh, I'm going to spend some money here. I don't really want to but I kind of feel like I should. Uh, the benefits will will be shown uh, immediately. Um, so I need... <laughs> these greenhouses are super thirsty. Uh, why am I going there without the water trailer? I love this tractor. Uh, absolutely love it. I will be getting rid of it as soon as I can afford to. Uh, the volume's too loud on it. Wish there was a way I could isolate the sound of that and turn it all down and leave everything else as is. Okay, so uh, before I fill this up, let's have a look. Let's purchase, and we're going to purchase some additional water tanks. So we'll jump into this. I think we are in silo extensions, supplementary. 
That's the one I'm looking for, I think. They are 2100. And where can I put those? Uh, yeah, I don't know where's the best place. Let's see. Is there a way to point them as well? Can I put it back here somewhere? How close can I get that? Yeah, let's assume we could do it here. I'm gonna put one for each. I don't know if they would share them. Um, maybe if I put it in between, maybe, but... There we go. And these are 5,000 liters each, so... Yeah. It has taken a lot of runs to keep these things filled up. And, um... The key thing really is that it um, they run out overnight, so I don't know what time they run out at. Um, I could be losing a lot of production. That said, I also understand with these greenhouses that the triggers, um, the output triggers, um, if they get full, they stop. Um, they stop producing as well, so... <laughs> Feel like it need a night shift to take care of these things. All right, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to fill everything up top. We're going to move whatever pellets we have, and um, and then we'll worry about um, having a good rest and and getting things going. Um, one of the things I don't have or do I I do have actually a sprayer okay we're all good uh, I neglected to um, uh, do some rolling here so you know it's not a big deal it's only a very tiny percentage uh, added to the to the yield but we'll probably get a roller at some point this soybean is very ready uh, well you know, in the morning it'll be ready um, it's well fertilized and it needed rolling as well our goal for tomorrow, for February, is that we should have enough money with all of our bales. Um, let me have a look at this. I want to see. It's probably not very far along. It's not, it hasn't even started yet, but tomorrow they'll be ready. We'll sell all the bales. We'll sell all of the flowers. I'm guessing that we should have enough then to buy Field 45. That's going to be our goal, uh, our big financial goal. Uh, depending on what we have left over, we'll probably uh, start working towards either a tractor replacement um, or perhaps an additional tractor. Uh, I can use this one for the power jobs and maybe get uh, another tractor that's less powerful but um, a lot more quiet. <laughs> Alright, where are we? No work full? That wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm going to need uh, more than one of these. We'll try to do that quickly. I think the chickens are still fine for food because we popped them up after the sort, sorghum uh, harvest. So, how do I fill these up? Oh no. What did I do wrong? How does this work? Did I put them the wrong way? Oops, just short. Guys. Oh, me. How do you fill these up? Uh, let me just look at something here. Productions. Oh. Oh, come on. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Some this stuff. Are... 
Um, I guess they just sit there and you still fill up in the French. What I don't get is how they got both. Uh, I did not deliver that much water. So, I'm not going to complain about it, but I had a similar thing happen on the Balskanska Pharma uh, series where I put in uh, a little bit of fertilizer, a little bit of seed, and it went full. Uh, oh, I wonder if this is close enough. I could put water in here. And those could be fed. Hmm. Anyways, long story short, uh, we're topped up. We're good to go. Let's let's have a rest. And oh, wait, 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 wait. I am going to move this out of the way. Oops. Didn't mean to throw them. Not only are they light enough to pick up, you can throw them. I want as many of these as possible for tomorrow because I really do want to take that next step now. There we go. Okay, now we rest. This tent's been really chilly in the cold too. Need something better. Okay. Loan interest 666. It's pretty evil. Um, all right. So we have 5,300. Uh, we've got lots of pallets, I guess. Out of space. Yeah, we need a night shift to run these things. I don't know why I'm just doing this one or I get a trailer and load them up. That'd be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Uh, word. I think the trailer's up at the shop, though. Okay, let me run up to the shop. I'll pick that up. And then we still have to pick up a auto loader uh, for the for the bales. in the road. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'll see you up there. Okay, I'm just gonna stop and take a look at these. Um, these are 84%, so they're not ready yet, so there's no super hurry. Um, our soybean needs to be dealt with. I downloaded a new mod that came out this week. Um, I'll show you what it is. It extends the number of options you can see on your menu. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I don't know if it covers all the options. That's the part that I'm not sure about. There may be more options, obviously. Um, but there we go. I'm not sure if I like it yet. It's a lot of stuff to read. <laughs> okay. Um, see, I gotta find my options here. It is. I don't know, it's the first one. I mean. Okay. Let's get these loaded up. Should have a good amount of flower money. I want to see. We had 14 something. Let's look at that real quick. We had 14,000 um, in there. So it took overnight, it took about, I want to say almost 9,000, uh, eight, eight to 9,000 that it burned through of water overnight. Well, it wasn't overnight per se um you know we did um you know rest mid-afternoon i guess
I mean, ultimately, I feel like it would be, um, you know, fast forward time until um, it's nighttime and then fill up and then deal with it. But, okay, is there any more? Just gonna wait a second. Actually, I can just look. Uh, no more here. And obviously this one, there's no more either. You see how fast they're coming in? That is one actual full trailer load. Perfect full trailer load. How much will we get from this? That's the big question. I don't think I've done a full trailer in full yet. I don't know if this thing will pick up uh, pallets or uh, bales. I think it's just pallets. So maybe it's not giving me the option because I'm loaded with pallets right now. Let's see what happens after I unload. Alright, here comes the money. Ugh, a little bit less than I expected. Okay. Uh, okay, what can I load on here? Euro pallets, fluid tank, big bag pallets, big bags, Euro, bales, it'll do bales. I think these are big round bales, the 180s. I have no idea how many it will pick up. Have a look at that. I'm guessing it can't pick up too many. Maybe six? Let's go try it out. We don't have enough to buy our property. Um, but we're going to have to wait that out a little bit. We will do that in February for sure though. We just have to wait on the silent and... Uh, uh, the soybean, we're going to harvest it, and we're going to put it away till June when it's peak price. So it's all about the bales for money in this episode. Alright, let's we'll see what happens. Very curious. I'm guessing it's going to be six. Well, oh, four. It only does four. Well, that's not ideal. Eighty-seven percent. Okay. I'm gonna leave this here for now. We'll go deliver that. Uh, maybe we'll have we'll be able to get enough money to to um buy another trailer I guess four isn't enough it's just too many trips okay let's get started on soybean harvest we're probably gonna outgrow this harvester pretty quick um, but it'll do for now And we're going to get our buddy to help us with this. Um, why? Why? Um,
that just did crop destruction when I had the harvester on. Oh. I'm, I'm a fool. There's still wheat in here. We're still out. Okay. That explains it. Let's go around the back way, turn around. Wasted a bit of our precious soybean there. Soybean is generally pretty low yield. I value low yield or high price low yield. There we go. That's better. Uh, so we should be, we might be able to do the whole field without unloading. Okay, temporary course. And that should work. Go. Okay, now I have two vehicles. I can do multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to run back over here. We're going to grab the tractor. Uh, this uh, field here, the soybean field, needs to be sprayed. Look how far away you can hear that tractor. One thing I definitely should also check is to see if there's any deals in the used market today. Did not look for that yet. Uh, I did put narrows on here. Right? Right? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do a worker for this too. out of there and then we'll get this fertilized as well okay uh let's look at the i guess i should get out of the field to do this or i get run over and around the campfire can i sit down here there we go fields here we go okay that beer is still here and i think i love something already um Yeah, that's not what caught my eye. Uh, this is too expensive. This, however, this is extremely imp uh, important. Um, this is a new tractor. It's not that loud. Love Voltras always have used them a ton in FS19. Um, three point definitely on the front. It's 64,000. We can actually afford this now. I know what you're thinking. Do that and I won't be able to afford the property. Um, yeah, we're going to afford the property. Uh, I'll, I'll show you why. So, um, I don't care for that rim color. So we're going to change that out and the color itself. I'm not crazy about either. For some reason I've always liked Baltras in this color. I don't know why. Um, 66, nine, we can afford it. We're buying it. Wasn't today's priority, but it just became today's priority. Okay, so um, we're gonna get some more money today from um, from the, the greenhouses. I will top them up again. Actually, we should probably get on that right away. That's much nicer. On top of liking Valtras, um, this is actually my favorite model of Valtra. 
Uh, right now it's configured as an N154, is it? N135? Um, tank is empty. Whoops. Okay. Looks like it ran out of, of uh, herbicide. We'll, we'll, we'll get on that. Um, there is no active call. Okay, so uh, yeah, and I use this tractor a lot in the N174 configuration, 200 horsepower. It was like my one of my favorite tractors uh, in FS19. I've used it a bit in FS22, uh, but not as much. For some reason, I kind of gravitated to um, John Deere, um, John Deere Case, and. Um, you know, other odds and ends. Okay, so water. I'm going to get this starting to unload. The other nice thing about this tractor is it also does 53 uh, kilometers an hour, so it's fast. Fast, it's quiet, it's powerful, it's got the three-point on the front, and I just bought that for a measly uh, 70,000, I guess. I'm just going to fill this one up, and then I'm going to go set this to reload the water. Oof, took a lot. Um, and then uh, we'll take, we'll go pick up some more beside. Eventually, I will get a um, herbicide seed fertilizer. Um, silos that where we get automatic deliveries uh you know we'll have it delivered to the farm okay um yeah let's just leave that let's take this guy make a lot of noise to the shop I'm gonna speed up time a little. We'll put it to six times. I want to get to later in the day when we can our our uh, bales are ready to harvest, as well as uh, some more flowers. Forget how much this holds. A thousand? Yeah. Okay. this up. Okay. Nearest. Go. Okay. I'm gonna load up the other one. And then we're going to um, we're probably getting very close to having to unload. I guess it can't hold the whole field. See how it's how fast it's using it up, it's popping up. 
So, okay, so here's the thing. Um, I want to look at this real quick. So this one's at nine. This one's at nine. This one's at 14. Okay, I thought for some reason that um, both were being filled up by the water tanks, like together. Okay, good, we're full. Full on both. I'm a little confused how that water math is, is working, but nonetheless, it's it's fine. We're, we're able to stay on top of it now. Refill, I wanted to do a little, little something here. Saw this. Need to fix this. Bugging me. Uh, what do we got? Dirt. Yeah. Fix this up a bit. Doesn't look right. It'll be hard to paint under the under the truck, but that's fine. Truck. Tractor. Okay. That's better. Sure, I missed the spot or six. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, I did miss the spot. Gotta do it. Gotta fix it. Okay. Let's go get some soybean. I think we're full. Now, before I do this, I'm just going to jump in here for a second. I want to make sure that, uh, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Avoid fruit, yes. Uh, we are doing crop destruction. Uh, stop while unloading, activate. Okay, we already did this. Right. Alrighty. Um what's next? What time is it? 9.28. I wanna check on the status of the bales. The harvester will definitely pick up the rest of that, no problem. So quiet, so nice. We're going to get this up to the shop, ready to sell it. And we'll buy another trailer. Love the uh, the used equipment sale. One of my favorite uh, features of uh, FS22. I really like that. I wish it was expanded on a little bit more. Not a lot. You can't get crazy, but um, you know, used equipment is a very valid thing. 
I'm just gonna pull over here. We're gonna check them. If I need to speed them up even more, speed the clock up even more, I think we're gonna do that. 92, so why don't we do that? We're just gonna wait this out a little bit. I will make sure that um, we're probably gonna let this run till about one o'clock, uh, if not more. There we go, that's silage. I wanna check them all. Some of them aren't quite ready yet. So I wanna make sure they're all ready. We're gonna wait till about, uh, let's go to 2 p.m. Let's do that, just to be sure. There we go. There we go. All of these should be ready. Okay. How much do we get for four? A sixteen thousand for four. Which isn't that much really. Um Okay. I feel like I keep pushing off the new property to get other stuff. Um, I want a pure bale loader. But I want a cheap one. I'm going to go cheap, cheap. Uh, there's one that I think is a good fit. Um, I think it's this guy. This will do round bales, 180. In this configuration, 16.5. Auto load, yes. Uh, color's fine. This will be our bale trailer. We will use this for probably a very long time. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave this guy here for now. The thing to remember is I do would like to have two tractors, but uh, if I can't get enough money from the bales, I will temporarily, well, temporarily, I will sell the other tractor because it's noisy and, um, yeah, I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, but I'll buy another one as soon as I can afterwards, but I really do want to get that next property, like, this afternoon kind of thing. Okay, I guess we'll start over here. Uh, we want this in operating position. There we go. I have used this trailer before for bales. It's excellent. I like it. Should have gone with this right from the start. I don't know how many bales we have. We're about to find out. That's about 35,000. That is about, this one here will be about uh, 50,000. I'm just doing rough math as to what I think we're going to get from this. One. Ooh. This means we should get about 60,000 60, off this trailer, I think. Somewhere around there. So we are going to be short for the for the property. So we're going to sell that other tractor. I'll just do a quick look around, make sure I didn't miss one. I think that's it. I think we're good. All right. 
Let's see how accurate my guesstimating is. I'm saying around 60,000. Hopefully we'll be pleasantly surprised, but I hope it's not the other way. Now this has an unload, I think it's a side unload, I don't remember. But we're going to do this like this. Okay, it's not a side unload. We're going to have to shove them. Actually, I don't have to shove them. I can just auto load and yeah, that's what we'll do. Oops. Uh, I reset B. There we go. And then we'll unload again. Ten. Uh, yeah, pretty close to sixty. Pretty close to sixty. We do have flowers, though. Um. Yeah, maybe we can sell off some of the flowers. We might have to not have to sell that tractor. Okay, let's leave that there for now. Uh, we'll pick up the other trailer. I feel like I'm going back and forth to pick up trailers and implements all the time. We'll get there. I think I can pick up big bags uh, with the setting so I can bring them back. This picks up all the pallets, all of the big bags. That's what I want. I'm just going to pick up these guys and bring them back to the farm. There we go. Probably be bring back more to be honest, but right now I want that land. I don't want to spend any more money till I get that land. Okay, I am going to unload those right there. Then we got to change the pallet type again. Oops, I just went right through. There we go. Back to Euro pallets. And our load those up. And load these up, and I think that might actually do it. I'm not sure, though. And eggs. Not a good time to sell eggs, but... What the heck. And if we have to sell a tractor, we'll sell it. Okay, here we go. Do we have 85,000? Any six? All right. Right on. Not only do we have enough, we got some to spare. We don't have to touch that tractor. We'll swap it up later. Um, I want something quiet like this. <laughs> something more modern, I guess. Um, but uh, there's no urgency now. We can have two tractors for a little bit. Uh, I gotta do it right now. All right, and bye.
Farmland, our first official purchase, you know, post start, I guess. Um, there we go, 45, you guys called it. There it is. All ours. So what I'm gonna do, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Look out that way. Oops, I guess probably better if I'm in. Um, this map has roads that are kind of hidden by grass. And for some reason, um, I like to actually respect those and turn them into roads. I know that I have the freedom to do anything I want, uh, but I kind of want to respect, um, you know, what the intention was for the map. So we're going to paint in wherever that is. We're going to paint in uh, roads uh, when it's on our property. I know I can do anything I want on this map. Um, yeah, but I don't know why. I just like doing that. Okay, so we are, let's see how we doing for time. Um, yeah, we still got some time for this episode. I'm still trying to shoot. Oops. Turn that off for a minute. Still trying to shoot to make sure that we get at least an hour in. Um, stop. We're going to do a little bit of housekeeping here. And then we are going to uh, start the mowing of that whole new piece of property to create uh, bales. Now, because they're not predefined fields, I can't use a worker to do it. Um, I have to do it all manually, which, like I said, I just don't have that much babble in me. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably do some of that off camera. Uh, I do want to create grass fields, uh, specific grass fields um, after that so that I can continue making bales and, um, you know, have grass for whatever, whatever we need. Um, hay, grass, whatever. Uh, but, you know, those have to be plowed out. Um, I don't want to do that until I've harvested the first layer of grass off of it. Ideally, I do that and then I move to the next month and then I get a little bit of grass, then I can plow it in and it becomes the first application of fertilizer. Save us some money there. That's the plan. When I first started, the first couple of episodes I mentioned, I, did, I wasn't going to do bales, but I've changed my mind. I will do some silage bales to make some money, especially in the early game. This thing is a beauty. Okay. Um... This guy can go away. Just toss it in here. Obviously, we're going to need more sheds. And, um, what else? What else do we need to do? Um, I guess. So here's the thing with the mower, um, that new Valtra, the brand new Valtra doesn't have enough horsepower yet uh, to be able to handle this mower, both, both pieces on at the same time. So it'll have to be this tractor. I just realized that I'm glad I didn't sell this tractor yet. But what we'll do, I'm going to get started on it in this episode, but 
before we do that, we'll let that warm up a bit. We're going to get this guy drilling. Because the drill is not a problem at all. This tractor can easily handle it. I don't know why I was zoomed out so far. Okay. Um, did we top up? Let's see. Yeah, we should probably top up, just in case. I don't think we need it, really, but... Uh, refill. Okay. We're full. All right, so what are we putting in here? Uh, we should get that trailer out of the way, though. Yeah, let's do that first. So, it is now February. I think I think I considered putting canola in here. Should be ready close to peak. Peak selling price. So, I think we're going to do that. something else in here. What do we have? We have sorghum uh, that we can sell. Uh, we do need it for the chickens, but right now is actually a really good time to sell sorghum, I think. Ooh, it's a great demand, too. It's way above the top price. Oh, so tempting. So tempting. Um, should I? I really need it for the chickens. But you know what? We need money more than anything else right now. If I have to buy a bag of chicken feed, we'll do that. Uh, so let's do that. I'm squirreling. <laughs> Okay, that's 10,000. It's significant. Uh, if I buy a bag of feed, I think it's a couple of thousand. Uh, if we have to do it, we'll do it. Too bad chickens don't eat grass. Since I've got the fast bale, um, and we can create straw bales easily, quickly, I think... It's called a quick bale. I don't know why I keep calling it fast bale. Um, uh, I think it's for the chickens, instead of sorghum, uh, we should probably be putting in wheat, wheat or barley. That way we'll get the straw out of it as well. Yeah, we'll have to make a field for that. Let's head over. Uh, let's get the drilling started. Yeah, I'm now thinking that we should replenish for the chickens as fast as possible. Um, so, change of plans. We're not going to put in canola. We're going to put in... Uh, I'm going to say wheat. Let's do wheat. It's not like we're waiting to sell it. Um, you know, the thing about sorghum is it's quick. Um, wheat takes longer. We'll get more money. Uh, from the straw, we'll get feed for the chicken and then we'll get straw as well. So, yeah, repeating myself a little bit here. Okay. We need, uh, let's do two headlands. We'll do it smooth. 
I said I was weeding myself off of this. I just keep going back to it all the time. Somebody just call me out on it. Want me to stop. Should I continue with... Uh, that's the question for this episode. Should I continue with course play or not? Yeah, let's make that the question. Alright guys, should I continue with... with course play in this series or not? It will probably determine how I, I design uh, the fields. <laughs> Alright. Let's get our little mini map up and running. Uh, I forget how far this goes out, but we're going to mow the whole thing. Here we go. Uh, So here's the deal. Um, I am going to go ahead and do this. Let's do, uh, before I sign off, let's get the perimeter done. We can see what we're dealing with. I think that should be pretty close. Oops. That should cover it roughly. Try to move away a bit. It crosses that little future road, we'll call it. Kind of hard to see. Ooh, it's quite big. Okay. That's about it. That's pretty close. There's a little bit more over there, but I think we'll skip that bit. We have a lot now. It's not like we're picking up loose ends. It's going to be a lot of mowing. And a lot of wind rowing. And a lot of quick bailing. That's it. That's our new property. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, I will do some of this off, off camera. Um, it's just going to be repetitive over and over again. You guys don't want to see that. Maybe you do, but um, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoy the series. And if you are, please consider subscribing. Uh, like, share, comment. Don't forget about Mr. CLP if you haven't had a chance to. Uh, you know, this is going to air on Sunday. I'm actually recording this on Friday. By then, he might have actually reached that goal. But, um, you know... Ah, let's help him get to let's get help him get to a million maybe <laughs> all right guys have a great day